All right, so we're going to be setting up this uh, track guide for my circular saw. So all you need for this process is obviously the track guide, circular saw, um, and then you're going to need some sort of sheet of plywood or OSB, um, anything that has this factory edge. Um, that's going to be perfect. It'll be nice and straight. And that'll let you uh, set your measurements so that you can get a very consistent um, width of cut uh, when you want to make a, a rip cut in some material. So let's uh, open this up and get started. <clears throat> all right, so we got it assembled. So all we're going to do now is we're going to set it up to be, um, you can set it any distance from the factory edge that you want. The only consideration is it needs to be uh, wider than your saw at least. So my saw is five inches wide. So I'm gonna set it up six inches and uh, then I'm gonna set the track there. And I'm gonna make sure it's running in my uh, groove here so that I can run my saw through without cutting my saw horse. So let's uh, do that. All right, so here we go. I made a, a tick mark at six inches on both sides. Uh, I had to do that off camera. It's a little bit hard to do that while holding a camera in one hand, but um, there we go. So we got it lined up at six inches. So one thing to note here, if you are using a Sharpie or something uh, that makes a thick mark like I am, you're just gonna need to pick where on the tick mark you wanna line up your edge. So. In my case, I'm just going to try to uh, go right down the middle um, on both sides. And you're just going to have to stick with that. That's going to help you make um, accurate cuts going forward. You just got to be consistent with however you wind it up here. So make, get, them, uh, get them level, uh, excuse me, lined up on both sides. And then we will be able to clamp it down and make our cut. So we're ready to cut here. We got everything clamped down. You'll see we're right on our tick marks. Now do be aware, um, keep in mind where your actual saw blade is gonna go. So don't cut your saw horses. I do uh, readjust these a little bit to set them up in my groove here. But we are uh, we're ready to cut. So what you're going to do here, you're going to just line your saw up right against that track edge all the way down and you're going to cut a straight line all the way down. Obviously move your cord, don't cut your cord in half um, and just apply, you know, very even pressure against that rail and downward while you go. <clears throat> Alright, so we've got our uh, nice cut piece here and already measured it but i'll show you so we've got just about just about two and a quarter if i can hold it and uh, i'll measure that more precisely for myself off camera but that's what you're going to do just measure that piece and i've got two and a quarter on both ends which is perfect so we've got a nice consistent straight cut all the way down that's what you want so now we just got to do a little math. So we set our tick mark at six inches. We wound up with two and a quarter. So you're just going to add that, or uh, excuse me, subtract that from six. So you've got six minus two and a quarter. So that gives you three and three quarters. Um, so that's what you're going to add every time to get a nice strip of whatever length you desire. So if you need a six inch strip, you're going to measure six inches and then add three and three quarters or whatever your measurement is. So for me, that's going to be, I'm going to set my tick mark at nine and three quarters to get a six inch strip. And that's where I'm going to set the, that's going to be right here where I set the edge of the track guide, nine and three quarters. And then I'm going to, for me, I'm going to make another tick mark right at six inches and that's going to tell me where my actual saw blade is going to be running so i'll be able to set that right in the middle of my groove and then not cut my saw horses up so
so that's a good thing you can do too so yeah so now you have now you have your measurement and you can cut whatever size uh, rips you want just add three and three quarters in my case for you it's going to be different depending on your saw and you know however you set your ticks and whatnot so have fun with that <clears throat>